In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up Java and add it to your Windows Path environment variables. This way you can compile stuff from the command line. What am I talking about? Well, usually when you have Java installed, you can type Java and you get a screen of commands. But you should also be able to type Java C, the Java compile command. Here I'm getting an error saying it's not recognized as a command. This is what we're going to fix. Usually when you download the JDK, you do it from this site. It should come with the JRE. The Java development kit is what's used to write and compile software, whereas the Java runtime environment is used to run your programs. Most people who don't need to write software just download the JRE on its own. And you can check to see what you have by going into Control Panel, Programs and Features, searching for Java, and you see here I have the Java Development Kit, which also came with Java the Runtime Environment. The JRE on its own is 32-bit. If you have a 64-bit computer, it'll be installed in Program Files 86. But since I only have the JDK, it's actually in Program Files, and then Java, and then here's the JDK folder, and right underneath it is the JRE, which came with it. Go inside the JDK, and then copy this path. Now go back to Control Panel, and then System, and then the bottom here, Advanced System Settings. We want to edit the environment variables. These ones up here means if you add something, it will only be accessible for the current user account. But I'm going to make sure it's a system variable so that anybody who logs onto the computer can use this. Click in the System Variables, click New, and now I'm just going to name it whatever I want. Now the value, this is the important part, I'm going to paste that installation directory we got from before. Press OK. Now you should see this new variable. I named it zero. Java so it's at the top of my list. Now you need to scroll down to the path and then click edit. Click new, percent sign the name of your variable, and then the second percent sign so that your variable is nested. And then backslash bin. Because we actually want to get into this bin folder and make this Java C command accessible by Windows. And click OK. There are certain commands that are built into Windows, like if you type CMD, it opens Command Prompt. That's Windows looking in the default System32 folder. You can also add your own commands when you install different types of software that might need to use the command line. That's what we've done to make Java compile accessible from the command line. If we go back to Command Prompt and type Java C, it's still not recognized. That's because we probably just need to restart it. So I'm going to go back where I have my program, and I'm going to Shift Right Click. This is an amazing shortcut. You can open the command window right here, then you don't have to worry about changing directories. Now if I type Java C, I have a whole window of commands. I have a test class here named my first program, but you notice there's no class file. And I'm in the same directory in command prompt. To compile it, I type Java C, and then the name of my class. I'm just going to type mine, press tab, so Windows auto-completes. You do need the dot Java extension here. Press enter, and you see a dot class file appeared on the left. Now to actually run it, you need to type the Java command, not Java C this time, space, and then the name of your class. And I'm going to press tab to autocomplete. But to actually run it, you need to backspace and get rid of the extension, just the name of the class. Press enter, and you should get Hello World, because that's the program I wrote. 